Welcome back to the Kindness Cast. I'm Ron Smith. With us today is Rick Bannister, Chief Believer of Neighborhood Bridges. Rick, can you tell us about the specific solution that Neighborhood Bridges brings to a community to make an impact? This is a great question. And so when I created Neighborhood Bridges, um, I had an eye to scale. I was hoping that if uh, our plan worked in Westerville, and it has, that in Westerville, Ohio, that is, um, that we could uh, scale to other communities. So there's nothing top down about Neighborhood Bridges except for our mission and the ways that we drive impact. What's uh, really great about our endeavor is that we have 43 different communities spanning over 1,200 miles um, throughout Ohio and Tennessee and Alabama and Mississippi. And so Neighborhood Bridges is designed to meet the specific needs in that community. So um, children uh, may have Uh, There may be more children in need in one community versus another. And the resources that are available in that community are always different. So we want to tap into those resources through Neighborhood Bridges to to provide speed and efficiency to the process. We don't want to be redundant or compete with existing services. It's, It's to the contrary, hence the name Neighborhood Bridges. We want to bridge with other resources all in the spirit of speed and efficiency and driving impact um, to students in need. How do you measure that success? The first way, and I guess the most important way, is anytime a school counselor or social worker or intake coordinator from a food pantry or a mental health specialist, every time they post a need to their community on neighborhood bridges, we ask them to tell us how many students or family members are going to be impacted by this need. And so the technology that we've created is kind of cool. Every time a need is filled, then we're able to keep track um, of the impact that's created within each of our communities and then globally across the entire neighborhood bridges. So um, whether it's providing personal care items to a high school student, like toothpaste or deodorant or feminine hygiene products, or a backpack, or paying a school fee, or getting someone in the community to donate a bed or a washer and dryer. And by the way, you know this because of the work you do in Gehanna. Um, while we're 43 unique communities, a lot of this we have in common. The most common needs that are posted on neighborhood bridges for furniture are for beds and washers and dryers in all of our communities. So. The most rewarding part, I think, is tracking that data and seeing how communities are moving the needle and driving impact. And while those are numbers, each one of those numbers represents, you know, a beating heart, a young person with, you know, their their whole life in front of them. And uh, I hope that through all of the great work that we're removing what a superintendent would refer to as non-cognitive barriers to learning, that we're removing those barriers so those kids are coming to school. That's where the magic happens, right? When they come to school and they're with their teachers and they're with their coaches and they are able to fully engage in their schoolwork. That's what we're all about. Rick, share with us the growth and achievements you've had in just six and a half years. Um, gosh, uh, I'm so grateful for all of this. Um, so we started in one community on Martin Luther King Day. It was a snowy day in 2017 right here in Westerville. And I launched Neighborhood Br- Bridges on a blog. I didn't even have technology. Um, but despite my inabilities, uh, Neighborhood Bridges thrived because uh, school counselors and social workers came to this like moth to a flame because this is what they do. They advocate for kids. And all we did was open it up to the community. So we've seen dramatic growth, um, even through um, a very tough COVID period, um, which will be in the history books for generations to read about what we went through as a country and as a you know, part of a global um, uh, society. Uh, but we've continued to grow, and I think it's because, I hope, it's because we've kept things simple 
everything is decided and driven locally. And so we're now in 43 communities and it's pretty balanced between Ohio and Alabama. Uh, we've added a community now in Mississippi, Moss Point, Mississippi, and we will go and expand our service area to any school district that uh, assigns this a priority. And uh, once they do that, we are happy to serve. Thanks, Rick. That definitely describes what impact neighborhood bridges can have on a community. That brings us to a close for this Kindness Cast. The mission behind Neighborhood Bridges is to bridge communities with schools and providing basic needs and removing barriers for students so they can engage and succeed in school and life. For additional information about Neighborhood Bridges, visit our website at neighborhoodbridges.org. We look forward to serving you on our next Kindness Cast and bring you the people and stories of how Neighborhood Bridges is making a difference and impact. I'm Ron Smith. On behalf of all of us at Neighborhood Bridges, thank you for watching. And remember, kindness changes everything. And kindness is cool. Have a good day.